Hello everyone, welcome to all of you for this new exotic pole dance tutorial, which is in fact a full choreography lesson. And we are here again for new adventures, all in glamour and sensuality. Today, we meet again for a new original choreography accessible from the beginner level. In this lesson, I will teach you all the steps and transitions of the choreography by providing you with all the technical elements necessary to produce each movement well. We will also visit the common mistakes. I'd like to add one or few things. The first one is that I apologize for the white background that is missing. I just simply forgot to put it on and I start to film already the scenes. So please apologize. I hope the visual and vocal explanation will be enough so you can understand well all the movement. Also, I would like to mention that this choreography is made for you to help you to learn how to move, to learn how to do some transition and to train your body to dance. But always look for your inspiration. Always listen to your body and to what you want to express. So give yourself this space to create your own move, to create your own rhythm, to adapt yourself to the music and enjoy this moment. Get on your heels, wear your knee pad, and join me on the dance floor. Place yourself a little behind the pole. The outer leg stretched and the inner leg bent, both knees against each other. Arch your back while keeping the torso upright with the abdominal belt firmly engaged. Both hands hang the pole. The inner end is high while the outer end is at waist level. First hips movement. Begin rolling the hips in a wave motion back and forth. Retract the pelvis forward or inward, and then rearward or outward. Pushing the pelvis back, stretch the inner leg and then fold there again. The torso is gently flowing through the movement of your pelvis and your hands help you maintain your balance. Perform this movement three times. Let's do this movement again. Pull the pelvis in and then pull it back, slightly stretching the inner leg and then bending the inner leg again. Second hips movement. Fold the leg and stretch it out. To give the jolt effect, each stroke must be initiated with the knee force, both forward and backward. Third hip movement. 
Stretch the inner leg upward as high as possible. Feel the movement, exert pressure up to the buttocks and then bend the leg. You can orient the hips facing the pole to further open the movement. Keep the leg bent as the leg moves forward, the knee at your hips unwinds the leg to fully stretch it. Continue backward swing motion and repeat the leg movement. The torso is slightly moved by the movement of the hips, going forward and then vertically. Keep a good hand grip while allowing you to let the whole body dancing in the movement. At the third repetition of the balance, bring the knee back to the aid of the hips while keeping the leg folded. At the same time, tilt your head back by raising your outer arm back. The leg is still folded. Bring the arm forward and then place the outer end at face level. Move forward with a slight lift. Orient the boost at 12 noon, or in other words, in front of your mirror. Push your hips past the pole. Place your left foot on the ground to stop the move. Unfold the right leg to place your foot on the floor. You're standing back on the pole with your legs spread out on each side of the pole. At this moment, arch your back to feel only the top of your back and the buttocks against the pole. Let's see this position from profile. Free your arms and slide your hands down your bust to your tights right against the pole that acts as a balance marker. At the same time, orient your feet outward to lower yourself in sumo squat. Point your feet well on the platform. The heels do not touch the floor. In a big head movement, throw your hair up and place a hand behind your back on the pole, if necessary, to keep your balance. Go up the pole and put your right hands high on the pole and your left hand at the bottom of your back. Lift slightly to allow the legs to rise. Change their position and orient the hips to the right side. Release the left hand of the pole and continue the rotation until you reach the floor by bending your knee on a lunge position. The head comes up against the right knee and the left knee is on the floor. Catch up the movement by placing your left hand on the floor. Put up your bust back right by strengthening your head. Replace your outer end on the pole and extend your right leg pointing at 12 noon. Perform a rond de jambe with this leg to allow a 180 degree rotation on the knee. Put your hands on the floor. Keep your legs straight stuck together. Arch your back and decompose the movement well. Slide on the ground, placing your face, chest, stomach and then your hips to the floor. Place your hands at your chest level to allow your hips lift. The legs are well stretched, pushing well on the platform of your heels to allow the hips to rise. This will arch your back and stretch your abdominal belt. With one movement, orient your hips to the left, then to the right, then push back, stretching your left leg towards 12 o'clock. Do not hesitate to give a quick whim when you go up, stretching your left leg. Then, slide the left leg, stretch backwards, 
taking care to avoid the heel of the right leg. Keep sliding back, legs crossed. Bring the arms back by opening the chest. Release the right knee by sending it slightly upward and then swivel to your left by moving the left knee and end to the floor. Keep your feet up. Finish the rotation sitting on the floor, the left hand coming to meet the left knee. Look in the same direction. With your hand, push the knee and extend the left leg. Reorient your body to the floor and sit on your right knee. Push again up and then sit on the left knee. Then, perform a 180 degree leg circle with the right leg to return to face the pole. Arriving on lunge, put your left hand back to the pole to come up First stretch your legs by sending the buttocks back and then straighten your chest. Place your two hands high, put your abdomen against the pole, carry yourself and raise both legs at the same time. While coming back to the floor, wrap your leg around the pole and twist your body toward 3 p.m. Keep your knees straight high, arch your back and send your head back. Congratulations to you! You have finished the choreography. You have difficulty to pass the hips in front of the pole. There are two options. The first one, as mentioned in the video, Place both hands on the pole as high as possible. Gently lift yourself, passing very slightly from the left out the pole and then bring back your hips in front of the pole. You don't need a strong lift to do this. Second option, your inner hand is high on the pole, outer hand is at the waist level. You need to lift a little bit more to pass your body from the left out and then back in front of the pole. In both cases, the right foot must be placed on the floor to stop the movement. You are constantly leaning against the pole with your back. Do not move away from this major leaning for this passage. First of all, make sure that your leg split is large enough to go down well in sumo squat, but also to remain very stable during the head movement. Don't put your feet too far back or too close to the pole. It won't let you down. Finally, when you slide down, Orient your points and sew your knee outward, thus allowing the sumo squat. Your heels are hurting you when you try to pass this left leg. After sliding the leg back, you may encounter the point of your heel when the left leg passes beyond the right leg. You may get hurt at this time. Exotic dancers know these painful moments very well. The first option is to slide the right knee slightly towards you to synchronize the passage of the left leg at the same time. Another option is to slide the left leg further backwards. The other option is simply to look quickly to make sure the passage is ready. You are blocked by the leg bend to the floor. Once you reach back, raise the knee close to your chest and raise your hips with your left leg folded. In the same move, orient the right knee towards 12. Do the same with the torso to a right on the knees and both hands at 9. 
we've reached the end of this choreography. I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned some technical elements that will allow you to develop transitions and new figures. As you know, every new element and movement requires time and training. So give yourself time and patience to achieve every movement as best as possible every time. Would you like to continue longer this choreography? In that case, let me know in the comments, share with the community your feedback, and put a like on the video if you appreciate this dance. It will help the channel to be visible to other exotic pole dancers. In the meantime, I wish you a lot of beautiful dances, and I'll see you soon for new videos.